Hello everyone, this is Manoj. In today's video, we will learn how to create a complete e-commerce application in React. So, let me show you the application. This is a HTML template and we will use this template to create our e-commerce application. So, these are the pages. So, in this video, First, we will learn how to convert this complete HTML template into React and in another part, we will see how to create routing and in another part, we will see how to use API to get all the products here and further click on this add to cart, payment, all this. Okay, so let's start the first part. For this I have already created a simple react application. So here the first step is in the public folder. Let's create a new folder assets and in source folder. Let's create a new folder called pages. Now in assets folder we will copy all the related folders from HTML. You do studio code open this folder and paste now you can see all the folders are inside assets folder now in pages let's create some files like header.js another one is footer.js one more home.js now Let's go to header.js. Now let me create a component here. Import React from React. Now let me create a functional component here. Function, the component name. This is here return finally export default component name. Now go to your template folder, open this HTML.index in any editor. First copy all this head section. Go to Visual Studio Code and in public folder go to index.html and delete the content of head section and paste. Now again go to editor. You can see there is a header tag. Copy all the content from header. Go to your header.js and inside this return. You can see a lot of errors are there. So let's remove one by one. First, remove this comment. All the comments. Okay. Now, let's check if any input field is there. So we need to close that. Let us close. Yeah, this one is here. Let's close it. Fine. Now, no error is there. Let's save this. Now, go to your footer.js. Again, let me create a new functional component. Import react from react function component name footer curly braces return parenthesis and export default component name now go to your editor let's check for footer tag here it is copy all the data of footer section and paste inside the parenthesis paste 
same we have to remove this comment after comment okay it's good save it go to your home.js now let's copy this first let me react from react function home return finally export default home now let's copy this first leave header now copy from this banner ok copy copy and till footer tag so here it is copy till here paste let me check if ok I think no div tag is left let's remove all the comments first only comments um, from here also yeah. we have remove all the comments now we need to check all the inputs and images see like this image we have to close this let's check for another image or input field ok good good this is good this is already closed we have also closed the br tag ok image close this close all of them now ok this input field we, need, we have to close this again again ok let's go to the top let's check We have closed this image also. Copy this class and replace with class name. Replace all. Remove this. Okay. It is saying only one. one div is missing no let's wrap all this inside a single div ok let's save it yes now no error is there now we have to change the image path reason in the html folder all images are coming from this images but we have placed this images folder inside our assets folder so let's give me the complete path double dot slash assets slash images so this is the complete path let me copy this
so we have to put for all images here also we have to do this for all the images I think we are done with the images now go to your index.html we also need to change the CSS path so paste the same here because all the CSS are now coming from assets then CSS folder here also save we are good now go to your app.js let me remove this header let me also remove this let's import all the components import home from pages home same way import header from pages header import footer from pages Call all of them home first only home and let me cut both of head and footer because we have to use both of them in home.js only. So to know this we have to use this header and here we have to use this footer save the files go to your terminal try to run this and then start so it will start our development server so the application is loading something is ok let's save it sorry i forgot cannot resolve pages footer where is home.js So you can see our home page is ready. Let's validate with this. This is a HTML page and this is a home page. Home about collection contact. Everything is same as the HTML page. I think something is missing. This copyright. Okay. Let's go back to editor. Copy this div, go back to Wheel Studio and in home.js or go to footer.js in place. Do this. Let's save. Go back to browser. So our copyright content is coming. So this is our first step. So we have successfully created our first home component 
into a react application so this is for part one in second part we will create all the related pages like about services single page that collection contact and in all in the second part we will also use the routing of react to you know redirect from one page to another so this is for the day i hope you liked the video if you did so kindly like share and comment and if you haven't subscribed my channel go and subscribe so that whenever i post this kind of videos so we'll get the notification at the earliest i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching take care bye bye